Hi everyone. So I'm outside. I've had a really, really good day today. I'm going to use my tablet for filming this particular video. So I know it's going to be a little bit shaky. I'm going to ask you to try to bear with me and I'll show you what I've been up to. So I started this morning soldering the connector onto this wire. So if we turn around and look at it this way, that wire goes all the way up and it is right there. That's where the power goes into the weather cam. So I've got the connector sewn, or sorry, soldered onto the weather cam. And it went fairly well. Although, to be honest, I burnt my arm. I don't know if you'll see it or not. I got a little bit of liquid solder that was nearly 500 Fahrenheit on me. Um, not too serious, but I had to take care of it with uh, cold water. So I got that part done. And then I went up to Home Depot and I bought... Actually, I'm in a bad spot. Let me just reposition. I bought uh, this post. Let me see if I can get it in the, in the camera beside me. Yeah, you'll see the metal pole, pole right here. Just, just to my right, right down in there. So that's what I'm going to use for putting up the weather cam. It's going to be the mask that holds the weather cam on it. And I'll show you in a photo right here of how I plan to physically attach it. I'm using some conduit straps for the same size of the conduit and some Allen key bolts just because it's going to be the most convenient for um, tightening it up, tightening the bolts to the junction box on the back and then the camera will mount to the front of the junction box. And then I went back in my home and I grabbed these few guys. They're right here. Um, so these three here are the, are the conduit straps and I just painted them white to prevent them from rusting. Incidentally, this is actually my green bin right here, and this is my garbage can. They both have a handle on them, and so I'm often, often um, attaching a string to them um, just for spray painting things. It works at a really good height for spray painting when I'm in the wheelchair. Um, after I got home from Home Depot, I got my mail, and I want to show you what came in the mail. I just need to grab my my keys. So I have ordered what's called heat shrink tubing. So heat shrink tubing is a similar idea as electrical tape. Heat shrink tubing is one way of sealing or providing insulation for wires. So what I am using it for is not that purpose though. I bought marine grade to use its waterproofing qualities. So this heat shrink tubing is lined with glue on the middle, meaning when you heat it up, the glue becomes a liquid again and <laughs> sort of sucks onto the item that you're working with. And this is an example of what I did. So the heat shrink tubing I'm talking about is this black right here. And it just provides a watertight seal between this connector and the black corrugated conduit. I'm using this to provide an extra layer of sort of weatherproofing for the floodlights for my weather station. What I'm doing is effectively sacrificing the black conduit so that the insulation on the wire will last longer. And instead of the UV from the sun getting on the wire insulation, you know, it's going to get on this 
at the same time, water's not able to penetrate this connection right here. So I got those put on, um, and you know, it's a fairly easy process. In fact, I should show you guys this. For anyone who's, who's wondering, this is basically like a hair dryer, only it's a lot more hot and you could hurt yourself quite badly. Um, but um, the heat shrink tubing is activated by heat. There's a fan in here and you blow the heat on it and it just sort of sucks it in. That's the best way of explaining it. So it's, it's a tool that I use a whole lot in bursts. So I got those on. And the other thing that I've talked about a few times now but haven't followed through with is my laser etcher. So today I, I took the next step towards this. You'll see here, let me just point the camera correctly, the wood right there, that's going to become my vent hood frame for the laser etcher. Um, I'll show you when it's completed. I think that's going to be the easiest way of doing it because it may not make a lot of sense right now. Although I will share with you um, what I've done. You can see here I've got some measurements and a little sketch. So a member of the community is going to cut these to the exact places that I need. And it's to make a vent hood as I indicated. So for what it's worth, I thought it would also be worthwhile showing that I've got the vents here in the window. And that's what will that's what will hook up to this in expelling the air that would otherwise be triggering my smoke detectors. So I've had a really decent day. Um, just before I get back in my home, I wanted to end this photo sharing the weather station sensor. Maybe I can just turn around. Um, yeah, there it is right there. So it's right up there, and the camera is in that junction box for a second from the top and there's the ethernet jacks and the one below it is for the floodlights so my plans are coming together it's been a lot of work but ironically that's what makes it so rewarding anyway this is what i've been up to today and periodically it's worth celebrating having a good day and that's ultimately why i wanted to make this video hope everyone's doing well bye for now